Good morning. Uh, this video is probably not the type of video I would normally be debunking, uh, mostly because it's a really easy and obvious thing to debunk, and I think most people could probably do it themselves, but I decided to do it anyway for reasons I'll get into later. So what do we got here? It's uh, by, let's see, Bruce sees all. And it's real UFO sighting. UFO takes off, leaves a streak of light like Back to the Future movie and disappears. Which sounds very impressive. Let's uh, see what we've actually got here. A little white uh, light in the What's sky. What's going to happen? So this object decides, okay. whoop, makes a little point, And yeah, guys, it disappears. All right. So this is, this is what he's claiming, that this object, this flying object in the sky makes a little point as if it's going to go off in that direction and then zooms off in that direction. Now, what's actually going on here, as you can probably tell even from this little clip, is that it's just the camera that's moving. Can't really tell exactly that in this, but if we go back to where it actually starts with the wide frame, about 120 in the video, and let's start watching from there. Pictures of these uh, lights and the phenomena and stuff like that. If that is Okay, now let's see. Stopping real quick here, we've got uh, a slow moving object here and we've got a bunch of other objects in the sky. And these of course are almost certainly stars because they're just objects in the sky which are not moving. This is a brighter star, these are some uh, less bright stars and this is something moving without flashing. Now if you see a white light moving in the sky and it's not flashing, the most likely thing is that it's a satellite, especially if you see it move smoothly across from one side of the horizon to the other. And this one you can kind of see moves in a fairly smooth trajectory. Assumably uh, wait a true. second. Assumingly true. Well, here comes another big boy. This one you can see is about the same size as this one, perhaps a little bit bigger even. It's a little bit brighter. And it's kind of following the same trajectory as this one. So I'm thinking this is possibly another satellite. This Let's is what maybe a government official following a UFO light. Or Whoop. Uh, did you catch all that? Uh, he said it's maybe a government official following the UFO. And then it does this weird bounce off. But really, you can see what's actually happening here. We can kind of go through uh, one frame at a time and move forward until it actually happened. So here's the start of the movement. You can see it uh, starting to zip off. But we also see, of course, this other star down here also starting to zip off. And the other stars have all vanished. This one, you can see like a little bit remains of this one. Now, interesting thing about this setup is that some of them have short trails, some of them have long trails. And I think that what that's down to is a, a rolling shutter. So there's different parts of the frame have different lengths of exposure, uh, depending on where they they happen to be vertically in the frame. So we see a long trail uh, on this one because it's at the bottom and we see a short trail on this one because it's at the top. And if we go into the next frame, we see it has moved into this long streak. Let's have a look at that in Photoshop where we can mess with things a little bit more. So here's it coming in. Now, you know, I said it's the camera moving. You can kind of see, I mean, like the camera bounces around and you know, even after it goes off, he just kind of moves the camera back. Uh, and it's obviously just like jostled the camera and it makes it look like this thing is moving. It seems fairly obvious and why would anybody be amazed by this? But if you look at the comments in the YouTube video, you will see that it's overwhelmingly people believe that this is something, at least it seems like they believe it. And I said, you know, why would I debunk something like this? Why would I try to explain something like this? And the reason is that people believe that it is actually something. This guy has 80,000 subscribers and he got like 50,000 views so far and it's only been a day. This is just yesterday, July the 11th. Uh, so a lot of people are, are seeing this and thinking it's actually something because you know they're not really familiar with things like, like cameras moving and satellites and streaks and rolling shutters and things like that. And you see all these people say things like, wow, awesome capture, yeah, this, uh, uh, see other things. Somebody says, this is simply a camera moving. And then people reply, the Pentagon has already confirmed UFO existence, but you're still going with the satellite theory. So even when someone actually points out what's going on, people uh, reject it. And lots of other people say, awesome, yeah, powerful, love your work, love the work, absolutely amazing, uh, blah, 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 never seen a UFO, seen this before, uh, beautiful capture, impressive. So people are impressed by this. People actually think that it's actually something, and uh, it, it really isn't. It is, in fact, just, just the streak of... Uh, 
the movement of the camera. Now, there's a few questions that might arise from this, like why is this a narrow streak when we have a thick object? So let's go back to where we were before. So the object is, is this size? And it creates this narrow streak. Well, it actually doesn't. What's actually going on here is uh, this streak is the actual size of the object. All stars that you see in the night sky are actually all the same size. They're all smaller than a single pixel in your camera if you expose them correctly. The problem is that some stars are a lot brighter than other stars. So if you expose the shot enough to show uh, the dimmer stars, then the brighter stars get overexposed and so you get glare around them and it kind of spreads out and so they look like they're bigger. You know, one star from another varies in intensity, but they all are so far away that they just appear as points of light, You're much smaller than an actual pixel. You'll never actually get the actual size. You're just seeing a point of light and some of them appear bigger than others. So when you see it streak out like this, you're not actually seeing uh, the this object that you saw a few frames earlier. You're not actually seeing this. Uh, you're seeing it actual size spread out. And the reason it's not a solid streak of light is this kind of uh, varying streak of light is that it's scintillating. Stars shimmer and uh, even things that are not shut stars like satellites will shimmer because of the atmosphere. You're looking at it through atmospheric turbulence. It kind of wobbles up and down and so you see the brightness vary because it's kind of shifting uh, the light path to it. And so what you're seeing here is a representation of the scintillation of this particular object in the sky. Another reason I want to debunk things like this, even though they are kind of trivial and you know not important, is that they are they show things that show up in other videos, like camera movement. Something that you commonly see in UFO videos is somebody moves the camera and it looks like things are moving. You see this in the daytime with planes, they look like they're moving behind trees. And you see this at nighttime with lights in the sky because there's no real frame of reference. When you move the camera around, it looks like something is moving. If I was to take, a, a, you know, here's, here's a light, here's a UFO flying along, and I rotate the camera, it kind of looked like that object moved really rapidly to the side, but it didn't. It was just the camera movement. You could see that because my room was moving, but if it was just, uh, you know, the night sky, it looks like the object is moving. So this is something you have to eliminate. And you see in this example, it's very obvious that it's camera movement because you see uh, you see everything move together and then you see the camera move back. It's, it's camera movement is like not even really up for debate, uh, but people still get fooled by it because they want to believe that something has been captured. Now, people are probably going to say, oh, Mick, why are you going for this low hanging fruit, this, this nonsense, this easy to debunk stuff? Why don't you do difficult to explain stuff? I mean, I do, obviously, I, I, I address all the other things as well. I have lots of videos about much more complicated cases, but things like this fool people. And if people are being fooled by something, they're going to get fooled by something else. If someone gets sucked into believing that this is an actual UFO, it's very, very easy for them to believe things like uh, the Jeremy Corbell triangle video is an actual UFO when really it's just kind of a you know, the same kind of type of misconceptions. Another misconception people have about you know, this video is the idea that you know, what we're seeing in the background is all stars when in fact you know, in any given individual frame is actually just the noise of uh, the camera. Now let's go back to where it started. So here you think oh, it's, it's moving and we can see stuff in the background if we boost the, the contrast. We can see it's moving and these are all stars in the background. Well, they're not, they're not stars at all. This is just noise and you can't actually see anything moving. And in fact, if we back up to where it's actually moving, you can see uh, where there were stars, like here, here, and here, you actually get um, little, tiny little streaks of noise from these very dim lights that actually do move and you see everything moving together here. But you can tell it's noise because it changes from frame to frame. So I guess there's kind of an open question here. What do we actually do with uh, videos like this and channels like this? Do we simply ignore them or do we actually address them? Most of the time I generally just ignore them. I, I know people are going to continually 
make mistakes like this and they're going to think they're seeing something in the sky and there's probably nothing you can actually do to dissuade them that they're actually seeing something. But when a video like this gets popular and other people start looking at it and they start thinking, oh, this is actually something, this is showing a, uh, a UFO flying off at a high rate of speed, this is the greatest UFO video ever, then I think it's worth addressing. And especially, I think it's worth addressing if the video itself contains other little lessons. Like here, we can use it to explain that the size of a light in the night sky isn't actually the size of the object behind the light, it's the size of the glare. And you see this with this, uh, the size of the streak. You can use it to explain that uh, a lot of the time, the motion of UFO videos is from the motion of the camera and things like that. The noise in the background uh, of an image isn't necessarily stars, it can just be noise. And so if you see a streak and what looks like stars, or if you see a triangle and what looks like stars, it doesn't actually mean that those are stars. You really want to look at the actual video. So there's real lessons. And I think if a lot of people are looking at something like this, it is actually worth addressing. And I'm not trying to say that this is what all UFO videos are like. Obviously there's more compelling UFO videos and UFO videos that are harder to explain. And just because I can debunk this one very easily and anyone could debunk this one very easily, it doesn't say anything about the other videos. So I'm not trying to like, you know, uh, taint them with association with this video because it's weak. You've got some strong videos. They require more detailed analysis and this does not take away from that, but it's still worth looking at.